Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. It's Monday, July 27th, and this is what's normally the chart of the day. I'm going to cover several charts today and go over some stuff because we had so much action today. Starting with Jazz Pharmaceuticals, J-A-Z-Z, as you can see, the big run-up in June on, on drug news, followed by about four or five weeks of consolidation, flagging, coiling type action. But you can see that each time the stock popped or tried to, there was a strong volume day. Today, an exceptional day, up $1.92 or 44% to 630, breaking out across a red resistance. And um, through the resistance zone, and closing um, basically uh, within pennies of the high of the day going away. With full green balance of power, money stream at the high of the, top of the window, as well as the unbalanced volume, this is a stock with strong momentum, and they could run and run hard over the next couple of days extending this, but we'll see what occurs. Um, moving over to AFFX, um, a strong channel underway. The um, price volume surge last Thursday has been followed by two consecutive narrower days and a slightly rising triangular kind of a wedge pattern. Lower volume the last couple of days, but technicals remain very strong. I expect that this could break out over 8.30 and run up into the 9.5-10 range, short term, maybe higher. So, But we'll be keeping close tabs on that one. Similar to the um, chart on Jazz is uh, Novavax, which ran up in April, pulled back and then back to the field. But notice that each high successful high volume day was on an up day, signaling the potentiality of a move. The stock has moved from about 2.5 to 440 in the last week, but in the last couple of days have broken out above these two tops and um, actually took out the spike high from April today, closing right at overhead right resistance at around the 440, just beneath that area, 440 being the resistance, got up to it today and backed off to 423. But with heavy volume of 22 million shares and with the stock holding above its trend, trend line and moving average, this thing could start to accelerate as well. So we'll be keeping close tabs on that one as, um, along with others. Uh, Jerron uh, had a terrific session today. If you step back on the chart, you'll see that the high in late 07 and the one in early 09, both about the same range, that was taken out today um, with volume. 8.6 million share traded with technicals improving. Um, a quick move that takes us up to the next resistance level around the $10 level as expected as early as tomorrow. But beyond that, a long-term rising channel is underway, um, which shows that this stock could get up as high as the uh, 16 range thereabouts. Um, but the in the, right now the immediate target is 10, followed by 12, and then uh, 15 and a half, 16. BCRX has had a huge run on heavy volume for the last six sessions. Gap, hold, and then about five consecutive days to the upside. It's nearing the top of its channel lateral price resistance. That comes in around the 13 and a half, 13 and a quarter half area. So I expect we could get some kind of additional follow through, but this one may be um, nearing its short term uh, up to upswing in the top of the um, nine month up channel. So uh, I tend to want to take profits running into that area right there. And lastly, for the junior biotechs, and we'll talk about some others, is. Um, Excuse me, ONTY. Now, this junior biotech had a nice run in March and April, and March, April but then uh, pulled back down and then formed kind of a little basing pattern. Neckline was broken today on heavy volume, and the stock jumped uh, 39 cents or almost 10% on more than a million shares. That one could accelerate, and if it gets through 490, the high in the, uh, April, it's the kind of stock that could really start to move and accelerate higher, and perhaps with a target somewhere on the order of, draw that in for you. As you can see, the long-term potential is up around the $10 range or more. So uh, let's see what happens if the money gets above the $4.90, $5 area. Dry ships had a very, very nice day today. And look at the big coil that it's been forming over the last six months, seven months. Now, the mini little head and shoulder pattern that formed in here um, held back below the moving averages, uh, at least the 40 
but and lateral price resistance, but that, that was broken today with an 85 percent, 85 cent move on 52 million shares. That's the heaviest volume going back to the beginning of June, and that could lead to a run up that takes this thing to up towards the eight and a half, 865 area, my next trading target. CGA, which we uh, entered uh, on the pullback this morning, popped back up to 10.15 and then settled back in the last half hour to 9.65. Only up 15 cents today, but heavy volume of 2 million shares relatively. As you can see, the heaviest volume um, since it got listed um, is significant enough for me to think that this, this stock could take out the 10.15 area and move up towards that 13.14 range, maybe even as high as 15 over the course of the next in a couple of weeks potentially. We'll see how that goes. And lastly, a CPSL at China Precision Steel, which broke out of a big coil, a three month, 90 day type uh, coil pattern, took out the this high and this high, and did so with the, the biggest volume since early May. So that stock uh, jumping 19% today on five and a half million shares, broke out of the coil and maybe uh, triggering a new move up. Uh, this resistance at 349.50 here in May uh, was nearly tested today, and we'll see if it, they're able to take that out tomorrow. That's it for tonight. Uh, several really terrific ideas. Um, we'll see how it goes over the, uh, over the next several hours and whether or not any of these can extend. Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. It's Monday, July 27th, and this is what's normally the chart of the day. I'm going to cover several charts today and go over some stuff because we had so much action today.